die, demon. <laughs> mm, blood. <laughs> oh my god, it's Van Helsing. What? No. I'm not Van Helsing, I'm just a guy with a crossbow. Why, why is it that you think every person in a trench coat and cowboy hat and crossbow is just automatically Van Helsing? Like, like how stupid are you? But you, you, you have the trench coat and the cowboy hat and the crossbow. You're obviously Van Helsing. Well, no, I'm not Van Helsing. Sorry about your luck. I'm just a YouTuber making memes and videos. So, yeah. Let's get on with the show. Today we have a crossbow. To load it, you must use your cord. To use, you must use your cord. <laughs> Keep going, it, it doesn't matter. Make sure they see how the camera, like how it's loaded. Mm-hmm. In the video games, they always do it with one hand. Like they pull it back with their hands, which is absolutely not how you load it. Make sure the color is facing downwards. Make sure there's no animals laying around. Take safety off. Delete. What are you doing? Stupid things. Got it. I hit it from up here. All right. Let's take a look at the damage. All right. It's pretty windy out, so I'm going to take a look at the damage. We shot this thing from very far away. Oh yeah, let's see how many layers it went through. God damn, how many, there it is. It went, that is deep. Oh my God, we're gonna have to pull the whole thing. <laughs> um, um, hold on, <laughs> the, the box itself is, we might have to. Or just pull the box off. There we go. Yeah, Jeez. it's embedded in the ground. That is deep, oh my God. Holy shit, uh, I went that deep in. That is uh, that is an instant kill if you were hit by this thing. And this is just a field head, this is not a broad head. So yeah, do not want to be on the other end of one of these. Let's hit him again. All right, we're gonna try hitting him again and see if that makes a, another hell of a hole. Reload on this thing is a nightmare. I want to get one of those, uh, the ones that crank. Oh, it clicked. Now you do not want to dry fire these things because it'll break your bars. Call of Duty, they always make it look like it's so easy. He just pulls it back and drops it in. Alright, see if we can't get an angle up here. Here at least we got a bit more space. And... Sun's in my eye a little bit. Right about there. Sit me off. I see a hole. Let's take a look at the damage. 
Okay, so we have an arrow up top here, but that's just to stop it from blowing away. This is not the one we fired. The one we fired went through here, but we gotta find it. It went through. One, two, three, four. Didn't hit that one. Ah, oh, there he is. All the way there. It went through. Straight that. into the ground again. Straight into the ground. All right, pull the box out. Oh, hey, the arrow came with it this time. <laughs> Wing tips are a little damaged, but it'll still fly straight. A little bit of the cardboard got stuck to the wings. But nothing too severe, and the tip is still good. These are made of pure carbon, so these will not break. Like, once you fire these things, they you can pick them up and use them again. That's another benefit of using the crossbow. You can pick these things up and use them again. So at least Call of Duty got that right. All right, we're going to do one more shot, and then we'll call it quits for today. Damn, boy, it is windy. We have one more arrow left. Ignore the box. We're probably not going to use this box. I just had this here just in case we lost one of these, but I don't think we're going to lose any of these. Look how bright they are. There's no way you're losing these. Rinse and repeat. The way you load this thing, oh my God. I really need to get one of those crank operated ones. Hook it in there like so. And give her a pull. <clears throat> I'm gonna strain myself there. I don't want to make the same mistake that one kid made where the recoil hit him in the eye. I'll have to show you that meme. I'll edit that in there. Yep, it is in line with the string. We hit our safety forward, so it's now armed. Well, I think I'll just finish him off with one of my swords. Let's try hitting him right about there. Hmm. Looks like I hit him in the same spot. That is how accurate this thing is. You can hit the same spot over and over. So in a survival situation, like your ever be zombie apocalypse or World War III, this thing will get the job done. You can also modify your arrows any way you see fit with a variety of tips, like broad heads, field heads, or if you're feeling deadly, you can put an explosive head on there. All right. Oh, and they said I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. I hit something much smaller than a barn. All right, let's take out our little holders here. Let's count how many holes it went through. One hole. Ha, ha, ha. Two hole. Ha, ha, ha. Three hole. Ha, ha, ha. Four hole. Five hole. And six holes. It went through six boxes. Well, I probably should use something harder than boxes. I probably should have been using a hay bale, or better yet, a block of wood. These things, they just hit hard. And the screws are already coming undone. Still straight, still functional. These are some good quality bolts. All right, let's finish this buddy off. Oh, we didn't do enough damage as I thought I was gonna do. Because the box just now has a bunch of holes and we gotta get rid of this box. Let's use Sasuke's sword from Naruto. Let's go full weeboo on this son of a bitch. Stabbing doesn't do much of anything. Stay angry. All right, 